Hi, welcome to Bookie, which unlock big ideas from world bestsellers in audio, text, and mind map. Please download Bookie at Apple Store or Google Play with more features. Get your free mind snack now. Today we will unlock Curious, the desire to know and why your future depends on it. Have you noticed that a detective story or a movie often start with a scene in a strange setting? It's either a secret room or the victim's mysterious death, or a missing key message that attracts you to keep reading or watching. Take Citizen Kane as an example. At the beginning of this movie, we see the death of a newspaper millionaire who leaves his last words, Rosebud. We may wonder what is Rosebud? Why is it so important? These questions stay with us until the movie ends. Another example, have you noticed that a speaker likes to ask the audience questions before the speech? However, he doesn't answer the questions immediately until the end of the speech. Why would they do that? The reason is simple. In life, things that are designed to cost us time and money use suspense to attract our attention and arouse our curiosity. Admittedly, curiosity is a beautiful but torturous thing. Some people believe that curiosity is our ultimate weapon to break through our destiny and the driving force behind all human behavior. If we are compared to a machine, to arouse our curiosity is to power us on. The power enables us to operate and to realize our potential and find meanings in life. On the other hand, we must also be aware that restraining curiosity is a homework we have to do throughout our lives. Have you realized that since the era of mobile phones and the internet, our attention has never been more divided under the stimulation of massive information? Some people have various interests and hobbies. They know a little of everything, but none of their interests lead them to develop skills that reach a professional level. Therefore, excessive curiosity might not necessarily be a good thing, because it makes it difficult for us to focus on one thing. In the age of information explosion, curiosity exists as a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it leads us to explore and open the door to a new world. On the other hand, it challenges our ability to focus, making it difficult for us to have an in-depth understanding in a particular field. So what is curiosity? In our daily life, how should we develop curiosity, and how do we control the scale of our curiosity? This book is going to answer these questions for us. We will learn the principle of curiosity synthesized by Ian Leslie from a wealth of evidence, opinions, citations, surveys, and stories. Next, we will introduce this book in three parts. Part 1, The Origin and Development of Curiosity. Part 2, Why We Need to Be Curious. Part 3, Ways to Stay Curious. Let's first unlock Part 1, The Origin and Development of Curiosity. Chimpanzees are one of the smartest animals in the world besides humans. They have many similarities to humans. This is not surprising, because 98.8% of their genetic information is identical with ours, thus there's only a small difference. However, even the smartest chimpanzees will not be as curious as human beings. All their behaviors are based on the three primary driving forces, food, sex and finding shelter, like all other creatures. As far as we know, only humans look up at the stars and think about what they are. We could say thus that pure curiosity is the fourth driving force unique to humanity. Why? This is due to the desire for cultural information that humans develop throughout evolution. What does the author mean with cultural information? Picture this, a long time ago, our ancestors left the jungle and went to the river to find a new suitable living environment. In this unfamiliar environment, they needed to know more, such as what kind of fruit is edible? Or where are the ferocious beasts that should be avoided? Under the trials of new living environments, our ancestors gradually mastered culture, which is an ability to learn, copy, imitate, share, and improve. The transmission of culture is not limited by time and region. As a result, humans became the only creature that can obtain survival guidance from the knowledge accumulated by their ancestors, 
and not just from the survival instinct dictated by our DNA. With the creation of culture, humans have naturally developed the ability to absorb culture and the predisposition to desire for culture. This desire for cultural information is a natural curiosity that encourages humans to venture and find new information. The cultural characteristics generated in the process of evolution makes every human society a cultural survival vehicle that has accumulated a wealth of knowledge. And everyone living in any human society is born with a strong desire to explore these cultures. However, the level of curiosity in each person is not fixed. Curiosity varies at every moment of every day. It is also affected by the surrounding environment and varies from one person to another. While some people stop learning from the outside world once they have acquired the knowledge to survive, others are more like children full of enthusiasm for exploration. Why is that? What causes the difference in the amount of our curiosity in its course of development? In 1910, American educator John Dewey suggested that the development of personal curiosity can be divided into three stages. Each stage has different characteristics and is influenced differently by the outside world. The first stage is that each of us wants to explore and examine the things around us during our childhood. The curiosity of this period is our human instinct. Baby Lab is a laboratory that studies the mystery of the baby brain. They conducted an experiment in which an electrode hairnet that can detect bioelectrical activity was put on nine-month-old babies. Then the researchers gave the babies a range of toys of different shapes and sizes. They observed that when the babies were given a new toy, their brain activity became very active. In daily life, it is not difficult to see that babies are always curious when facing new things. They show an eager desire to explore the unknowns. The second stage occurs after the infants discover that the people around them will answer their questions. During this time, the infant's curiosity begins to turn into a form of socializing, and they begin to ask questions to people around them. You might have seen a baby point to an item and babble. He is using this action to ask questions to obtain information from people around him. Parents must be aware that at this stage, the infant's habit of asking questions is more important than the answer to the specific questions. The formation of curiosity is a feedback loop system. Especially in infancy, the development of curiosity in children strongly depends on the feedback from their surroundings. If parents respond positively to children's babbling actions and questions, their curiosity will be encouraged. If parents are indifferent to their children's questions, Children will gradually lose their enthusiasm to ask questions, so their curiosity will be weakened. In the third stage, curiosity transforms into the hunger for knowledge, namely the interest in questions aroused in the process of observing things and gathering information. This is the interest to continue digging for information after the initial feeling of novelty has faded. Curiosity at this final stage will evolve into a passion for exploring the unknown. This stage is also called the information gap by psychologist George Lowenstein. Curiosity comes from the existence of an information gap. Once we have learned a new information, we may soon realize that there is still the unknown, some missing parts of that information that are waiting to be discovered. This leads to the arousal of our curiosity. On the contrary, if we know nothing about a certain thing, it can hardly attract our attention. For example, if you don't know anything about painting, you couldn't care less when you see an information about an art exhibition in the magazine. However, if you have learned painting or are interested in painting, you may keenly start reading the art exhibition information in the magazine. In the three stages of the development of curiosity, we could see that curiosity constantly evolves. It gradually develops from the initial simple and emergent desire for novelty to the hunger for knowledge. It is a process in which diversive curiosity constantly grows into epistemic curiosity. So what exactly are diversive curiosity and epistemic curiosity? Leslie explains that the fascination with everything new can be called diversive curiosity. For adults, diversive curiosity manifests in the tendency of being fond of the new and tired of the old. 
In our daily life, the verse of curiosity prompts us to click on Twitter and YouTube continually. Diverse of curiosity is an essential part of exploratory thinking. It broadens our horizon so we can discover new unknowns. Moreover, it inspires us to gain new experiences and make new friends. However, during the cognitive process, if we just gain a superficial understanding of something without studying it in depth, we will waste our time and energy in the process of continually changing our interest. Besides, the information we have acquired may not be of any value. We need to turn this unrestricted curiosity into a deeper, more orderly, and more effort-intensive curiosity. We call this curiosity epistemic curiosity. The shift from diverse of curiosity to epistemic curiosity is a process of a profound change, from simply pursuing novelty to personally trying to understand and perceive something. Epistemic curiosity arises after diverse of curiosity matures. If the process of satisfying unrestricted diverse of curiosity is fascinating, then the process of satisfying epistemic curiosity is a little tedious and more difficult. Nevertheless, for individuals, epistemic curiosity can be a source of satisfaction and pleasure, providing nutrients for the mind, for organizations and countries, it can lead to a surge in creative talent and innovation, bringing about a qualitative leap in their competitiveness. To explore Mars, you should first have a strong desire to explore distant planets. If you want to put a camera on Mars, you need to have a constant desire to solve problems. It is clear that these great human achievements are based on epistemic curiosity. That's all for part one. We learned that curiosity arises from the human desire for cultural information. Throughout its three stages of development, curiosity evolves from the initial simple and urgent desire for novelty into the hunger for knowledge. This is also known as the process in which diverse of curiosity constantly grows into epistemic curiosity. Today we are just sharing limited content. To unlock more key insights of world-class bestseller please download our app. Just search for B-O-O-K-E-Y at Apple Store or Google Play. Get your free mind snack now.